Stop eating the Christmas tree. You're ruining Christmas for everybody. You... All right, so Shovel Knight. Okay, so I'm Nerdog. Welcome to my little blind playthrough of Shovel Knight because I haven't played this in forever now. Like, yeah, I don't got anything. Yeah, okay, new game. Uh, Shovel of Hope? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that they, like, added a bunch of stuff to the game, like, uh, since the last time I played it. Because I played this originally in 2015. That, at best, like, 2014, 2015. I played it on the 3DS originally, and only Shovel Knight was available. Because I don't know these people. I don't know who Plague of Shadows is. No, that's the name of the game. Spectre of Torment. Yeah, King of Cards. So, I think this is one of the bosses in the game. Like, straight up the first actual boss you can face. And I think this is from the stage where there's the propeller mice. I'm pretty sure this is the stage where there's the little propeller dudes. <laughs> oh man, but for now I'm just gonna go vanilla and play as Shovel Knight. Can I? Oh, okay, register your name. All right, so I'll just uh, do one of these, like so. Body swap, enter body swap mode. Before you begin, would you like to swap the bodies of any characters in the main cast? Nobody can perform this action at any time in the pause menu. Um... So... Okay, so there's, like, different body sprites... ...for everybody, and the text... It's gotta be the pronouns, I assume. Okay, so... Opposite default random... Okay... Oh, alright, so this just, like, sets everybody as opposite, or sets them to default... Or everybody to female. Or everybody to male. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Alright, so for now I'm just gonna play default. Maybe. No, you know what? I'm just gonna let... Yeah, I'm gonna... Make everybody a lady. Yeah, that sounds cool. Because I haven't played this in a while, and, uh, you know... I'm gonna try it out. Whatever. Uh, so, how do I... Oh, so, I gotta go back, I assume. So, X in the... PlayStation thing is square. Exactly. All right, so I just choose my guy. Okay. All right, let's go. For chivalry. Okay. Oh man. Okay, this immediately brings me back. Oh, digging these piles of dirt. There was like this pogo. Yeah, it's the pogo move. You hold down and jump. It's like the the Ducktales game for the NES. Oh man, that's cool. It's another game I gotta finish as well. Like, I've seen it, played it a little bit. Never finished it, I should play it. Oh uh, yeah, and you could dig these little mounds of dirt. I don't think you have to, like, dig all of them in order to complete the level. But damn, like, this feels amazing. Like, I don't remember this feeling as good. I mean, it was, like, a long time ago on a tiny, tiny 3DS screen. Because I played, like, about maybe, I'm not sure, but, like, probably a good 30 minutes of this game. Like, years and years ago, around 2015, on a friend's 3DS. I remember enjoying it, but I I remember I saw this stage, for a fact, I know that. And I saw... Um, the second stage. As in, like, I saw a second stage. I think you could choose between more than one. But, um, I played this one and the, the level with, uh... With the castle and the king knight and the mice and fl and the flying around. Oh, hey, guy! Okay, I'm just... Can I... Alright, I can run away if I'm, like, losing. So how do I dodge your stuff? Do I... Can I... <laughs> That's my duck! <laughs> I love this! Okay, sir. Rude. To... Okay, so I can just, like, bonk his head. Can I go down the stairs? I can just go... <laughs> I didn't know that, okay. I found something out, but I probably lost a lot of money. Ah, whatever. There's more enemies to defeat. <laughs> and I think you can repeat level some, so if I'm like missing out on gold and stuff, I can just like repeat it. So it's okay. Alright, so it's teaching you that some walls are like secrets and stuff. Alright. And that there can be enemies within these walls. Okay, that's pretty cool. 
Oh man, I hope I didn't lose too much money or like an artifact or something or whatever. All right, skeleton dude, get owned. Get owned, dude. Come here. Oh, boom. Gotcha. All right, what's down here? Oh, music sheet. I remember these. Okay, so. All right. Some pro gamer strats, because I'm such a pro. Um, I think you can sell those for money. Oh, there's a little mound on the wall. Okay. I think you can sell those music sheets for money. There's like a dude that plays the guitar. I mean, now it's a lady, probably, because I I clicked on the thing, clicked, selected the thing where it turns everything into females now. But I don't... I actually, now that I look at it, I can't tell the difference between the male Shovel Knight and a female Shovel Knight. I don't know. I... Huh. Whatever. Is it like an androgynous thing where, like, oh, she's a female, but she doesn't look like any particular, like, gender tropes, or whatever. Like, I don't mind. It's just, uh, I thought there would be, like, a, um... Like, a bigger difference between, like, male Shovel Knight and female Shovel Knight. I don't know, like, maybe the armor color, the, the shape of the shovel... Something, honestly. But it's okay. Like, probably the other knights are more noticeable, because I'd imagine that they didn't want, like, to accidentally ruin the shape of a, uh, an already very recognizable protagonist, so... No wonder they left it, like... Like it is. Alright, be right back. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that small interruption. First episode immediately disaster struck. <laughs> All right, so essentially what happened is uh, it's the it's like late November, like at the time of, of recording, like either the 29th or the 30th, and uh, I finally got some time to like put up and decorate my Christmas tree because that kind of free time doesn't come very often in this household, and um, I had to just quickly go, oh sh, oh garbage, uh, be right be, um, because uh, I have a lovely little kitty cat, a lovely little, a lovely huge kitty cat and his name is Nico and he he's this really big really soft just big tuxedo cat and um, he's lovely <laughs> but he's a bit of a goober sometimes and um, he was um, consuming my Christmas tree while unattended <laughs> oh man I love that cat but I'm, I'm just <laughs> I'm glad he didn't, like, eat any part of the tree, because it's a plastic Christmas Christmas tree. It's a white plastic Christmas tree. I was immediately like, oh, garbage, I need to go now, 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 now. Because I didn't want my cat to accidentally poison itself. Gladly he didn't, he's okay. Like, I even opened his little mouth, he didn't, like, chew on anything. And, uh... <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just put the footage of, of my cat just doing shenanigans on screen so that you can understand, like, how deep this cat was, like, in love, just completely enamored with chewing on my Christmas tree. So this is my beautiful little kitty cat. Hello. All right, now, uh, make him do the thing. Get him close to the Christmas tree. Look at him fucking just, like, go at it. He just starts eating the tree, man. <laughs> Acts like he's got no food at home. Dude, you have food. We buy you expensive gourmet stuff. Stop eating the Christmas tree. <laughs> You're ruining Christmas for everybody, you... you villain! That's great parenting. Eh, little kitty cat. Look at this long creature. <laughs> Look at this man. Look at him go. He's like, he's huge. Look at him, he's so stupid. But I love him so much. No thoughts. Stop biting my fiance, pretty please. I need this woman alive and in one piece so I can marry her. Just let him eat the tree a little bit more. He really wants it. He really, really wants it. Come on. G give it a chomp. There you go. <laughs> Who wants like expensive food and good water? Oh my <laughs> god. She Who wants that? Like, why not eat white plastic, man? Like, it's so yummy. Yum, yum. Look at that. Look at him chew on that. Yum, yum. Take a big old bite. You know you want it. Uh, like, there you go. Man. Uh, I love him. 
Okay, now I'm gonna kill this one. How many hits do you take? So, four, five. Okay. Pretty good. <laughs> ah, well. Oh, so this has, like, corpse running, like, Dark Souls, then. Like, a corpse running, I think, is what you call the mechanic where when you die and you leave your stuff behind, and you need to just, uh, like, run towards the last place you perished so you can get your stuff back. Yeah, there we go. So I'm sure if I, like, die again, I lose those little bags of money. I'm pretty sure I do. Okay, sir, you're rude. Oh, man, I want to get my money back. It's right there. Okay, so three hits, four hits. I imagine you take like five or six. Five, no. Six, seven, eight. Eight hits. No, you dropped most of your stuff, dude. That's rude. All right, so yeah, the dragon did drop a, a lot of stuff. But I lost. <laughs> I didn't kill the first one because I was just like, oh, can I go down the stairs? <laughs> but I didn't think, okay. Bye, sir. I didn't think the stairs were just like cut off and immediately just like drop me downwards to a place I couldn't back uh, get back up from but ah well whatever <laughs> uh, if need be I'll repeat like a couple stages because I think I can do that I think I can because I've, I've seen like f uh, some friends play this game in the past and uh, I've seen them like repeat the same level over and over and over just to get a bunch of money I don't know exactly what for because I don't think this is the kind of game where you need to grind, it's the kind of game where you can grind. Because this isn't an RPG, right? It has RPG elements, of course, like num some numbers go up, like your life goes up, I think you, I think you can upgrade your armor at some point. Because I've seen friends of mine do it, because uh, me personally, I haven't gotten much far in the game. But man... Alright. Okay, so 3k goal, that's got to like, get me something, because it is currency, and I know that there are some upgrades. Alright, but boom there's chicken over here, pretty good. There's nothing on this side. Okay, so I, I could have sworn that you can destroy these things, because I remember destroying these, and you get money from them. But, like, the drawback is that, like, if you die, you do not go back to the checkpoint you destroyed. You go, like, back either to a previous checkpoint that you activated, or back to the start of the level if you destroyed everything. Which is a cool challenge. Black Knight, I knew you sh you'd show your face sooner or later, the Cerulean coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? Okay, so this is, like, a rival, dude. And uh, I know you're, like, trying to find this Shield Knight person. Okay, so, so far, I can't tell the difference between male and female, like... Wh what's his name? Either Black or Dark Knight. It's probably Black Knight. But, man... Yeah, I can't really tell the difference. I gotta check on the menu if, like, I really toggled it properly. Or if, like, I'm just imagining things. Oh, nice! No hits. Pretty good. Hey, look at me. All right. Okay, so, one down. Oh man, this little set piece is pretty cool. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's Shield Knight. Yeah, she's still a lady, because I said everything is female. Yeah, that's... that makes sense. Catch her? Okay, how do I... Okay! Alright, so I just, uh... Alright, gotcha. Bam, bam, boom. Only you! Thank you. What, what does that mean? Oh, it's like the bear on, on those ads. Like, Jesus. I just got, like, <laughs> sent to the past. Because I remember, like, seeing that advertisement, like, somewhere. Only you can stop forest fires. With, like, there was, like, this brown bear with, like, a ranger's outfit, I think. Okay, uh, so I have to go to the village. Okay. Not bad. Halt! No weapons! We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh, that's no weapon, that's just a shovel. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Insult to injury, huh? <laughs> Thank you, dude. 
<laughs> ah, what a douche. Oh, so yeah, th this is the guy with the guitar. Is that a sitar? It looks, it doesn't look like, just like a traditional guitar. Two music sheets, magnificent. Take 500 gold for each. So I think I get a thousand bucks for this? Exactly. All right. And now, oh yeah, there's the cook and the magic lady. So the magic lady, like she's blue, right? Uh, mm, why is she to the right and like the life guy to the left? Because your life is to the right and your magic is to the left. I'd imagine they would switch that around. Ah, oh, whatever. So the cook. Pottage and poultry, mutton and meat. Your maximum health will increase if you eat. Bring a meal ticket. I'll whip up a feast. Goatation might have one. Now, where's that sly beast? Oh, yeah. Okay, so you buy meal tickets from this guy. Ah, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magical health or just eat a tin can? Why not buy my meal ticket? Yes. A thousand bucks. I can do that. First purchase. Okay. Can I buy another one? Oh, that's a lot of cash. Okay, that's four. Yeah, I would be left with just like about 412 if I bought that second one. 412 gold. And I want to upgrade some of my magic as well. All right. One extra health point. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not bad. Want more use of your relics? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Uh, I can increase your maximum magic. Good. Oh, but no relics yet. What? I can't... You Oh, of course I need relics. Yeah, okay, so for some reason I only remember that Shovel Knight had the shovel, despite remembering that he had like an MP system, or like a magic system or whatever, so I need to obtain some sort of relic, like my sub weapon or whatever. All right, there's an entry right here, there's a cool wall, 500 extra bucks, not bad. You, sir. Hey, blue girl. Oh, blue girl! Okay, so he does recognize me as a girl now. You wouldn't believe the merchandise I've got for you today. Why not have a look? Fishing rod and a chaos sphere, an orb of boundless combat potential. I'll buy this because chaos sphere, an orb of boundless combat potential. Give it a good throw. All right, so what do you do for me, orb? You just, oh, that's cool. Oh, it bounces on walls as well? All right, that's rad. Okay, okay, I'll use that one. And the next one is a fishing rod. Cast into a pit and wait for a bite. Like into any pit, cast into a pit and wait for a bite. Keep an eye out for sparkly fishing spots. Okay, they gotta be sparkly then. What do you have for me, sir? Hello, fish friend. I'll heal the trouble king. Um. Oh, okay, okay. I don't have enough money for this, but like, but I will have enough money for this. I just need to sell my little music sheet that I just found. Okay, so as far as I'm aware. From what I can remember, there's this giant apple fish dude, and which you can talk to. Yeah, please give me my money. Thank you very much, sir. Um, you can talk to that guy, and um, the fish dances for you and spits goop in your cup, which you can drink for cool powers. I know that sounds stupid, but I love it. All right, I'm gonna buy a chalice, a vessel for strong mythical ichor, ichor. Ah, whatever. Trouble chalice, a vessel for a strong mythical icor, but where to find it? Yeah, I gotta go to... There's this, like, pier where you can talk to the fish. I don't know if I can get it yet in the beginning of the game, but you can definitely go there, eventually, at least. Alright, so where do I go? Oh! Uh... How do I get up there? Oh, this lady! Yeah, 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 yeah! This lady's gotta, like, move closer to me? Yeah, exactly. Damn. Alright, thank you very much, lady. Will I have enough for a magic upgrade? Because it costs a thousand. No, I will not. 462 gold plus 500 is just, like, 962. Not enough. I need a thousand for that upgrade. Okay, so I can move here now. Locked gate. Defeat Spectre Knight. Yeah, okay, so I gotta defeat Spectre Knight to open this gate. And I imagine the golden yellow gate up there, it's gotta be opened by this one. Prime Door Keep Lair of Queen Knight. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one other actual stage that I did. Like, way back when. Tropple Pond. Oh, it's probably here? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Alright. Please. Who has awakened me, mortal? Dost thou need aid? Aid me. I sense a tropical chalice. I can fill it with magical ichor. Ichor, that's pronounced. Ichor, yeah, ichor. It's ichor. 
All right, choose your eye core wisely. Refills all, all your health and magic. Become invincible for 10 seconds. Absorb nearby treasure for 60 seconds. So I imagine this is like the least useful one. I imagine this is like for... If you died and you want to get money back and it's like stuck in a place you can't really reach in any way, shape or form, you need this because you turn into a magnet. This is refills all the health and magic, which is pretty good, but I don't think it makes you immune to like instant death spikes and stuff. If there's like a bunch of them on a stage and become invincible for 10 seconds. So this is probably good if I'm like in a clutch moment against a boss and I need like a boost just to like get close to the guy and just slap him around for 10 seconds and likely end the fight. So since this is my first chalice that I have, I, can, I know I can purchase two. So I think I'll just walk around with the icor of boldness and the icor of renewal whenever I get my second chalice. So I'm going to get this one because I don't have a lot of HP right now. Okay, are you just going to dance for me? Yeah, exactly. I remember this long ass dance. <laughs> and he just goes for it for like a good minute. You know what? I'm gonna fast forward this because I don't want to put you through this, but god damn it. Oh! Alright, finally. Fare thee well, shoveled knight. Return if thou hast need of my aid again. Alright. Feet accomplished, Tropical Acolyte. Okay, so feats. Feet, oh, okay, body swap, I can check it. Feet, so what do I have? I got three earned. Wait, right, Let oh yeah, oh, so there's also feats for everybody else, okay. So what do I have with this little guy? All right, so I got, buy your first item, pretty good. Uh, I got Tropical Acolyte, discover the secrets of the Tropical King. And use caution and common sense around campfires. Exactly that one. The only you can stop forest fires. All right, pretty good. I just hope that like every time that I need a chalice when I come back, I hope I don't have to like watch that entire dance again. <laughs> Cause that would be like slightly super boring. Okay, so Lair of Queen Knight. So, okay, so the game still recognizes as me that I'm still female. Let's get shoveling. I'm gonna like just be double, triple sure. Okay, so body swap, okay. Okay, so everything's set to female. Alright, it's probably just like... Shovel Knight and Black Knight that their designs are more subtle. Because as I was explaining like earlier before my lovely little, little huge goober of a kitty cat interrupted me. Um, Shovel Knight has a pretty recognizable design, like amazing silhouette, striking design. Like, beautiful cyan colors. It's it's pretty striking. Okay, sir, you're rude. Man, I remember this. I, I don't remember these pots, however, like, just vomiting lava at you. But, like, Shovel Knight is a very recognizable design, so I'd imagine they didn't want to go, like, too extreme with the difference between the sprites. Like, I can't tell right now because I didn't, like, choose the vanilla and then compare. I, I can change it, like, check it very quickly, actually. All right, so this is like a fishing spot. When do I get my stuff? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, that's money. That's pretty useful. Okay, 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 that's good. All right. So I should set... Oh, it's you guys. Hey. Oh my God, I love these guys. Look at him. <laughs> they're so confused. Like, it doesn't even feel like they're controlling like that. Like, what's going on, you know? Oh my god, how l I love how confused they look. Okay, I'm gonna try to get into, like, a more peaceful place. Uh, okay, so get out of here. Because I want to set Shovel Knight against a pretty, like, not hard to read background and compare the sprites. Please, sir, perish. Uh, can I... Come on, shoot it at me. Boom! Yes, I can! Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Boom! Haha, <laughs> get owned. Okay, ba boom, you died. Alright. Uh, yeah, I think this is as peaceful as it's gonna get. So, I'm just gonna... Um, can I destroy this? Yes, I can. So, if I destroy this and I die, since I will not have a checkpoint, I'll be booted back to the beginning of the stage. So, okay, so I'm just gonna take like a quick mental picture of Shovel Knight, and now I'm gonna body swap Shovel Knight. 
Uh, I'm sorry, man. I can't tell. No, new body swap changes won't appear until the next level. Oh, okay, okay. I skipped the warning. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so I'll just, like, throw a couple of PNGs on screen about, of, like, what's the difference between male Shovel Knight and female Shovel Knight or whatever. I'm generally curious, because I really can't tell. Alright, sir, can you please, uh, unalive right now? Thank you. A hundred bucks, that's nice. Okay, so I imagine I need to kill that dude to get up there. Yeah, my jump isn't high enough, so... Come here, ba-boom, thank you. Alright, I'm gonna change to my orb, I forgot I got it. Oh, there you go, another checkpoint. Okay. Almost got bonked by that chandelier. Okay, do I... yeah, I gotta tease it. Uh, okay. Thank you, 20, 20, 50, 90 bucks, that's good. Another five... Okay, this is slightly super precarious. Oh, I don't want to get bonked by the lava thing. Can I? Oh, okay, barely. All right, let's go in here. Do I? Yes, there you go. It's working. So, what do you have for me? Okay, a precarious situation. Uh, jump, jump, jump. All right, chest, what do you have for me? Sorry? In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals? What the hell? You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest. Wanna see? Oh man, I gotta purchase the, the treasure I just found? <laughs> That's so scummy! Flare wand. Hold up and press X, so square. And the PlayStation controller. It's the one that shoots fireballs. Watch your magic meter! Oh man, okay. Oh! oh. Clutch jump, okay. All right, can I go back? Yes, I can. All right, so, oh man, I don't want to die to this lava thing. Okay, so I gotta time it. So I think now would be the best time, exactly. There you go. Okay, so like the green thing bounces and I think this is the magic one that just like straight up horizontally shoots fire. Kind of like these dudes do, but it's like instant instead of there being like a charging up animation. You just like, you just go for it, you know? All right, so let's see, but boom There's an apple, but I didn't get hurt. Because I'm really cool. Uh, all right, sir, please perish. Thank you very much. What is here? Okay, I see a ladder on the top left. And I imagine I should not break all of these blocks, because otherwise I will not be able to reach that ladder. So I'm just gonna break this one and uh, go up here. Hi, sir. Uh, can I shoot it? No, I cannot shoot it back at you, because the ceiling is too small. Yeah, okay, I just gotta, like, get up uh, up close and personal with you, sir. Alright. Oh, 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 this? Alright. Pretty good. Thank you. Cool money. Alright. Not bad. So that's, like, 2k already, pretty much. Uh, what is down there? Oh, so that's, like, normal... That was... Yeah, I was gonna like, oh, there's a cute little guy. Um, so you, ba-boom, please perish. Okay, 160, that's pretty good. Yeah, this is the place where I would have come out from. Wait, there's, there's a wall to the right. Wall, like, open space to the right. Can I go there? Is that like an explorable area? No, sir, it isn't. Okay. Because I thought it was, because it's like, it's such an open space, and they usually don't, like, do that, unless you can go to the right. Alright, I'm going to destroy this one and see how many... 206 plus 4, okay, so 210 gold. Oh, there's money under the... Oh, there is! There's money, like, behind the banners, like, hidden. Okay, that's good. Some extra pocket change. Alright. So, I hope I don't die against this dude, because otherwise I'll gotta go really far back. I think this is a safe spot right here, exactly. Okay, so now in the one and the two and the three. Oh! <laughs> that lazy swipe is amazing. Okay, safe spot. All right, ba boom, ba boom, boom. There you go, sir. Your death is deeply appreciated. Oh, new checkpoint. Hey! Oh my god, I love these guys. I don't like killing them, though. But they are in my way, and I will get damaged if I don't do it. All right, five bucks. 
And boom. 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 Oh, oh. Thank you. That's a new thing. All right, little beetle guy. I'm so sorry. It's your turn to not be alive. Okay, I gotta shoot. Yeah, I just shoot. Oh, like they collide with other fireballs. That's cool. All right, is there money behind this one? No. Behind this one? Nope. And here? There's a secrety wall, I'm pretty sure. Please. Is there a secret here? No. All right. Okay, so this. Is this side secret? It is! There you go! Ba boom. Die. Thank you very much. All right, 100 bucks plus 55 plus 45, that's 300. Man, I already got a lot of cash, which is pretty good. I can get at least one magic upgrade and also probably buy the other Tropple Chalice. So I got to test something. All right, so multiple kills of the same enemy on the same stage do not drop more money. They might drop like, yeah, like little, these little magic potions that fill my magic by a little bit. Oh, I can jump over the UI, that's cool. But uh, yeah, I, you don't get repeat money, which is good. Otherwise, players would just like grind it out. You know, I mean, they already can repeat the stages, but like, you know, it's a chore to like go back and do everything. Is there money here? Yes, there is. Five bucks, five bucks, there you go. One, two. All right, thank you very much. All right, so what do I do here? Oh, there's a secrety secret. Boom. Oh, goodness. Can I? Yes, I can. Is, uh, no. Oh, that's just like, that's just a magic pot. Ah, oh, whatever. It's fine. Is this breakable? No. Is the one on the right breakable? I don't think I can reach there. Yeah, the ceiling is too small. I just hit the wall, so whatever. Sir, you are rude. Haha, <laughs> you're stuck there. But boom. Boom. Alright. Oh, so he... Okay, I gotta make him want to strike me. So I can strike him back. Okay, is there money behind these ones? There is, ten bucks! I cannot reach that one. I probably would've if I hadn't destroyed the little sand platform, but it's okay. Is there a hidden secret here? Probably? Yes, there is. All right, so what do you have here for me? Hey, guy. Sorry, buddy. You were gonna kill me. Uh-huh. Music, thank you. So that's a guarantee 500 bucks. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. I think I'm doing pretty well. Especially for someone who hasn't played this in like forever now. Because if I played this in 2015, it is now 2023. It's been about, like, almost nine years now. Because I played it early 2015. Right? Yeah, exactly. Because the game came out in 2014. Wait, stay thy fork, knight. I bring gifts from the Trouble King. Oh, but you can't carry anymore. Come find me again once you have a spirit. Oh, yeah, okay. So if I have an empty chalice, sometimes those dudes can give me a free Icor. I mean, Icor is free, but, like, free Icor during a stage. That's pretty cool. Okay, so these books activate these, like, floating pages. And for as long as I bonk these, the timer resets. Okay, little mouse dude, don't, don't screw me over, man. Uh, I gotta time this just right, otherwise I get, I'll get bonked by the lava and just die. Alright, shoot it downwards, and boom! Can I? Yes, I can. Alright, slowly, steady, oh my god! Okay, that was slightly precarious. Okay. Oh, all right. I'm glad I got. I was careful. So 20, 20, 20, 20, 80 bucks. Not bad. An apple and a lot of money. 150. A chicken. Okay. You again. So okay. This is my safe spot, and you're gonna get bonked, sir. Oh man, he's so cute. I love like little white beast lit little huge white beasts. Look at him, he's so cute. Ah, man, I love his little just like lazy. I don't give a garbage, and I'm and I'm not paid enough. Like a really poorly paid intern that really he, he just he just wants to cash it in and just do the minimum. All right, I'm just gonna break this. 
I shouldn't have broken that. Because this corridor feels like very pre-boss roomish. If And if I die against the boss, I'm going to get kicked backwards. Oh my goodness. Queen Knight, an interloper is in our midst. Be gone from our throne room, knave. Oh, she is different. Okay, okay, she's got like some breast armor situation. All right. You not but a decadent dandy. Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. Silence. All right, get owned. I mean, that's a cool addition. Like, I imagine that they, they did not have this feature when the game originally came out. I don't even remember, like, the gender swap option being a thing. It was probably, like, some sort of Kickstarter goal that they had. It was likely that. Oh, man, I hope I can, I can kill this lady before she kills me. Uh, please do perish. I would be very thankful if your death came very soon. And I did it! I'm alive! Yes, I am. I wonder what that feat is. Like, beat, beat up a boss, but you're alive? But I already did that with Black Knight. Huh. Okay, so... Is this another dream thingy? Where, like, he dreams about Shield Knight? Not he, she. It's not a she. Uh, no. Alright. Pretty good, not bad. So we accomplished a lot for the first episode. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty much at the same point where I originally stopped playing. Yeah, I don't remember fighting this guy. So, on the next episode, I'm gonna fight that guy and I'm going to do some upgrades and likely defeat Spectre Knight if everything goes well. So, bye!